Hey, what's going on? It is Eric Pauly at erpauly.com. Today I'm going to be doing a little bit of Photoshop painting because I am just wrapping up a uh, what I'm calling an episode of a series, what I call a series, the Bonehead Animated Web Series. I will be releasing that uh, shortly. I just rendered it or exported it, whatever. And you know how it goes. I'm probably going to look at it and be like, nope, this needs to change. I need to add something here. So you know how it goes. I'm probably going to delay it. But for now, it's probably going to come out in the next couple weeks. Uh, so let's get to uh, creating that Photoshop intro inch image. You know what I'm talking about? Let's Let's start from scratch. Scratch, scratch. Hey, I'm tiny. All right. Let's uh, grab the stylus. So I have a general, super general idea of what I want. Just like a skull kind of just sitting there. Um, maybe something along. So I'm just looking at reference images here on the Google. The Google images. I'm seeing my uh, audio peak out a lot here. Tell me if it's too loud. Um, I was thinking something kind of like this without liquid and buttons or coins. What are uh, coins? I don't know. That means something, perhaps. Uh, it doesn't mean anything to me, uh, but I do want something like this over kind of in the corner, maybe on like a, a desk or something, and then it can have some like calligraphy text. That's my general idea that I have not laid out here at all. So let's just add a new layer in Photoshop and kind of just draw that gener super general idea. And let's do it in red because I'm not going to use any red when it comes to cleaning this. So we want kind of the corner of a desk, right? Something to that nature. That light is in my face. All right, let's do like a desk. This. Mm, I kind of want it a little bit further this way, right? Like this. Yeah, that's probably the corner of the desk. Therefore, the bone head skull can be like that. And, uh, Maybe a cutesy kind of eye thing. And I uh, can't forget the little top hat. That top hat is the signature thing. Maybe put one eye like this. The rest is going to be void. Yep, that looks good. Let's pop that over here. Let's lock. Pop, drop and lock. Nope. Just pop. Ref. That's my quick reference. <laughs> Is ref saving time. I don't know. I don't know how much time that really saves. That's the joke. Uh, now there's a shortcut for changing the size of the brush something like that is it f or is that f? that's blender huh nope, nope this just breaks it turns it into full screen i'm, I'm imagining jeez gee whiz uh it's throwing me off this week we got a lot more going on so i oh, what i love it when the reference is like spot on and then i'm like trying to draw it for real and it's like <laughs> nope um, so let's draw the table on its own layer. That sounds like a good idea. And then um, I'm going to draw a little bit of the details. A little more table-y. The 
that's the kind of the idea what the Photoshop intro image kind of like I was thinking similar to I don't know I guess most of the Cartoon Network c cartoons do it like Steven Universe or the old cartoons like Ren and Stimpy and stuff like that they would do that a lot with the like there'd be an image just like the created by image I guess it's so like just a fancy one-off image that might be kind of related to the story somehow. Label lines. Gotta use uh, the labeling system. That's what it's there for. Um, well, before we move on, I was gonna start coloring, but uh, there's this section of the table right here that you can really see. We want to kind of like add some details to it and it's just going to go all the way down even knowing that's a little bit large it will look weird if we cut it off right there so uh just from past experience i suppose um let's not gold that's not what we want a little more red and a brown color let's make this big very big but still within control. Um, so let's lock table lines and start filling in these colors here. Um, want to get too close to the edge. When I get close to that part, I can uh, switch brushes and maybe I'll even just uh, erase around the edge here. I'm coloring over the lines right now because I am above it in the layer panel over here. Once I yeah put it in front like this, see the lines a lot better. I want that to be darker than your attention is actually drawn up here. Burp. How's me burping? Uh-huh, uh-huh. I'm getting all the lines first. So we're getting over here. Get that part all situated. Get the hard part. And then just, uh, I'm really going to enlarge brush strokes. Get the general inside. And then, uh, then I can actually put some, like, color over it. But maybe with opacity to really blend it in. Go real big. Um, when it comes to Photoshop, I don't even like messing around with the fill-in or anything. I just, I'll just paint it. Because I'm going to want to paint it real here in a minute anyways. And that looks pretty darn good. Um, hide the reference for a second, and let's go down here. Let's pick another dark color, and let's just go straight over it like that. Same thing over here. A extra. And uh, a little bit lighter. And this is just a general shine to the table. Quite a different color, but it will blend together here in a second. A little opacity. We, we should save Control Shift S. Where are we going to save this? It should save in the bonehead. And let's just, uh, well, in episode one, we should add a folder for photo, Photoshop. Images. And uh, for this one, we just want a skull pick created. Or right, let's just do an episode. No, or this will be the created by. That's probably good. Created by. A little dash in there. Just so I know what's what when I actually go to render them. Okay, so we can go back down over here and pick a different dark color. 
Tell me something on a different screen. Okay. Click OK. That's basically what I that's what I saw. I don't know about you. Don't read this. Click OK. There you go. There's a little uh a little more um contrast to it, is that the word? <laughs> Doesn't work. Paint a word again. So it looks a little more blended. Go a little darker. Be too much of a difference. If I go back over the top, and I'm going to go light go on the very top here. And I'm keeping the opacity right at about half. That way, when I go extra light, like up here, and I, uh, Go around the corner like that, like light might actually shine. Now let's go dark again. Tap a bit. And uh this will help increase or uh help it appear to be 3D. Um okay, now where is the eraser? I'm gonna hit E down here. Okay. I haven't organized anything in Photoshop. I don't normally, I don't actually normally use Photoshop. It's not my, uh, not my go-to program. Even pro uh, like, bad. Um, even uh, when it comes time to use something that uh, say I sh probably should be using. Photoshop, I'll usually actually open up Animate CC. That's my, that's definitely my go-to program. So easy to use. The exporting is flawless. Just everything is so good in it. Uh, it's, that's what I use. And honestly, uh, when I export my output, it looks, you know, it looks good. So. Uh, the difference is obviously with Photoshop, the blending of colors is different. I would use a lot more layers in Animate CC. So I'll just grab, uh, like a piece and, um, just draw over it with, uh, super heavy opacity. There you go. A little notch in there. That makes it even better. A little imperfection. Okay. That looks good. I'm gonna go back to the brush. B for brush. B -b -b brush. And uh, let's just keep on painting on a little bit of shine on top. What's going on here? All right. Um. Whoop! Quit pushing buttons. What are you doing? I I kind of don't. I've never used the stylus buttons. Not even uh, a fan of them being there. It's just something that you have to go in and turn off over and over again. There we go. That looks very tabley. Now let's save that. Let's lock this and hide it. And, and let's just add a new layer and let's unhide our beautiful reference. And uh, let's see, am I gonna make this more cartoony and have an outline on it? Or should I just start with like some grays and immediately start making some skull? gonna be cartoony either way because it's a very cartoony uh, um, general idea I suppose so let's just start with that. Um, thick but not too thick uh, I think the same size that we used for the table a little imperfection oh it has opacity I uh, forgot that I had turned that on Okay, we'll go down like so. A little crooked, a little crooked. 
wrap around the corner and back up. Start from right here. And the same idea the other side so that it's poking through a little bit. Fix these eyes just a smidge. Not, not perfect. But definitely better. Okay. Now is when I would fill first. An eyeball it doesn't really it doesn't really matter, but that's okay. Let's go. Uh, skull lines, and uh, let's add a nose. Some of these little dudes. Some longer than others, that's perfect. Rest lines. And don't forget the Hyatt. I don't know why it's... Those lines, I think, are making it shaky. I think I, t I turned those on once upon a time, and I haven't turned it back off, I guess. Let's make a new layer. Let's save and lock line. These, yes, perfect. And let's just go ahead and start drawing over it. Start with the blacks. But no, let's start with white. Ooh, much bigger. Much bigger brush. Bigger brush. Oh, so, yeah, that should be good. Um, I let's reverse that. I don't know why I did that. Yeah, that's what we want. Fill in the eyeball. Fill in the eyeball. And we're just painting a single color here. We could add some depth. To make it look perfect about it. Now this is kind of going to suck because we're not going to know. We did anything. There we go. Uh, have to be careful around these eyeballs, I guess. Could paint them on afterwards; it'd be a lot easier. Maybe a different layer, but let's see if this will just work. When in doubt, try the lazier method first. Maybe it'll just work. Sometimes. Get lucky. Do 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 minute up all night lucky. <laughs> Alright. I'll be here all week. I'll be not here most of the week. Business as usual. Yes. Business as usual. Hola, my name is Usual. I don't know. Uh, gotta spice it up. This is the part of the video that you would normally speed it up and do like a little montage. But I don't like editing these videos because... Uh, the whole point of these, actually, is so that I'm releasing content regularly, and if I take the time to edit it, I know that I will not release it 
for another few days, or I just won't end up doing it at all, because it won't end up being worth my time. So, the reason that these videos are so long, and that I don't edit them, because currently, it is very much not worth my time. So, if you guys start watching them regularly and post it on Facebook and all that stuff, I'll have a little more incentive to make these videos top notch and uh, move forward into making them better and better and edit them, making them a little less uh, dry to watch. But until then, I have to continue doing it the way I'm doing it because that's how much time I got to do it, you know? Uh, it's, it's, I know, it's like a double-sided kind of like bummer thing. So, that's the name of the game, I suppose. Yeah, I know. I, sometimes I forget that I'm uh, doing a video and I just start painting. So I just stop talking altogether and I get into what I'm doing. And then I do like a, a English accent. I don't know what was... That wasn't offensive sounding. Not my purpose. I uh, I just like to do that from time to time. I do rather enjoy... The uh, accent. I am not good at it. Wire practice. Now, these be blended. They are very stiff. Here. Are you blending? You need to be turned up it's too far down, huh? Blend. Okay, that's a lot less subtle. Here we go. There we go. Paint around the eyeballs. How about over here? A little less of this. Kind of looks like craziness, but I actually really like it. Go a little gray and kind of do around the teeth. And maybe around the nose. Why are you painting? Oh, that's why, because it's part of it. Paint around it, I guess. Little emphasis on the nose. Come down here. Turn back up white. 
Painting is not my specialty. Uh, anybody that is, I'm guessing, and if you're watching this, you're probably like, what? <laughs> but that's what I do. I blend it until uh, I think it looks acceptable. And I kind of really like this, like, graffiti style almost. It's very interesting. Unique, different, odd, I don't know. Um, yeah, that's, uh, where's the eraser? Just the E key. The eraser looks weird. And this, you look weird, Eric. Not the viewer. You look fine. Um, Okay, let's add like a little shadow. I rename it. Can I just do that? Okay. Full color. Table color. Lock the full color. Add a new layer. Save it. And uh, black. That opacity should be good. Probably. Um, let's turn it down. Um, and let's assume that goal is doing light this way. Yep, and let's just turn this up at least like. Around the line. And I always forget Photoshop, every time you pick up the pen, will increase the layer of opacities. So if you have two fifty percent errors, I don't know how to increase the size. I'm just because I don't want the uh, opacity stuff to overlap, like I was talking about, and because you can see like the length, the uh, the light, the line around the shadow and that looks so weird i'm gonna have to go with the go around it with the um what's it called the eraser and i'm gonna have to fix all that my dog is barking at nothing outside i have a camera sitting looking outside right and i uh have the monitor right next to me so i can see that Working at nothing. As he is one to do. Bark, 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 bark. My dog. I like to sing to my dog. I sing to him songs like Felix. And uh he doesn't respond to me in any any way. But I continue to do it. It's a it's a thing. Uh and quite enjoyable. Yes, I believe so, yes. Let's layer this layer this let's label this layer shadow. I want that before the school color. Okay. Let's 
great. Shadow number one. Lock it. Save it. Add a new layer. Two of them, but that's and uh let's put some more shadow like uh hmm. over here uh what? what's going on here i'm erasing i don't need to be erasing i want the brush be whiz. That's some like real rookie mistake. Well, Keep on accidentally overlapping. I gotta get used to not not picking up my pen. I have to come through this with um. Does the eraser do opacity? It sure does. That's how much I don't need. Will do and uh, as well, I just get it all like so. Do the same thing down. I need to blend it again. Well, actually, that looked dope AF. It looks very similar to that graffiti feeling from earlier, so uh, I'm gonna leave it actually. And uh, let's just go with the brush down here. There we go. Yeah, that matches pretty good. So, uh, I could put a little deposit over there, but I don't think it needs it. I think it looks good just like this. And that's very, uh, interesting. Maybe I'll go up here. Put, like, the, uh, created by. Well, you know what? We should do uh, something for the outside because there's white right here so let's just make some chaos do it that's the way lens colors right that and then What are you doing? Gather. Yeah, oh, I created stuff. Yeah. 
share those. I just and I just realized that yeah, I see this. Okay. Gonna look basically start over. Okay. Colors. Honestly, that looks pretty good, but can you see a table anywhere else? No. Okay. Put this all the way in the back. Colors. Anything? No. Okay, we'll use it then. A thing. Go shading. Lock it. Yeah. Quite right, dude. Mm. Um. Does Control Two do anything on this? No. Is there like? Do I have to zoom in manually? This. Um, in the wrong, right on the wrong thing. Ah. Okay, um, I'm gonna call that good. Now, what I want to do is add calligraphy. Uh, just well, first off, where's my uh, reference? Let's get rid of it. Unlock, delete. Because you see it. And go back up to the layer I was working on. Come on, Photoshop, how come you don't know these things? There we are. I like it. A little something to be uh, thrown into the intro of the show. Save it and export. Let's export. That'll do, pig. Great. We got the, uh, I think everything that we needed for this image here. And then, uh, now that I got the Photoshop created by image, I, uh, need a introduction to the show and a introduction image for the actual episode itself. So, yes, um... Hopefully painting the next thing will not take 40 minutes, so I can get on it and wrap it up. Until next time, it's been Eric Pauly at ERPauly.com. Hire a freelancer today!